Hey YouTube, what's going on? So today I'm going to an all animal expo to get Ember some new cork board for her back so she doesn't have Joshua trees to look at. Also, she's been glass surfing a bit. Uh, so my wife and I figure getting some cork board in the background will help her uh, reduce that glass surfing and she'll be able to climb a little bit more and wear out her nails. So there's there's Ember. She's cute and she's cuddly.
So I just got back from the All Animal Expo. I picked up this awesome plant for my wife. It's, I think it's pronounced Tritiscantia zebrina. It's also known as Wandering Jew. I've seen this before in uh, Tanner Serpent Designs videos. It can make a great house plant as long as you take care of it properly. I closed the blinds so you can actually see uh, the video. But I'm going to wander over and see, show you guys what I got for Ember. Alright guys, there's Ember. Ember's super cute. You just, you just can't get enough of Ember. Just look at that pretty face. Hmm. Okay. Sassy. All right. So I got Ember. Simple solution. Just got some zoom, some Zoomid cork tile. Um, they pre pre cut this to 18 inches to fit their uh, their uh, vivariums. So I figure it'll it should fit pretty well in here. And I'm just gonna put it along the back. They didn't have enough pieces for me to put one on this left side here, uh, which is kind of frustrating. So maybe I can get another one later. Um, but I'll just put some along the back and hopefully Ember will stop glass surfing so much. You need to stop glass surfing, Ember. Just just stop do it, okay? Yeah, I know you're inquisitive. So I'm just going to put some of the cork tile back there and uh, let's get started. So I just took out the, um, the mat. I rinsed it off a little bit. Ember is making lots of noise. She's probably stressed. But here's a good example why you don't use other company products with other company products uh, unless, you have to, unless you're willing to uh, makeshift stuff. So this is Zoomed cork board made for Zoomed aquariums. It's actually too tall for this Thrive Aquarium because of this gap. It's too tall. So I'm going to have to cut some off. It's actually not wide enough, so Ember's actually going to be able to crawl back there. So I've got to cut it off in order to make it fit properly. So that's what I'm going to do. Say hello, Ember. How do you like your new enclosure, huh? <laughs> well, guys, there you have it. I put the cork board up in the back, um, so I had to trim about half an inch off the top in order for it to fit properly in the Thrive Vivarium. Um, it's pre-made to cut for the Zoomed um, Vivarium, so it didn't fit the Thrive Desert Vivarium. Um, as you can see, there is a gap there. Um, if you have a better, better method of cutting, you could use the stuff you cut off the top and put it over there. I had a little Leatherman hand saw, so I had to cut it off in pieces so it, it wouldn't have worked. Um, I just wedged the cork board up with the uh, the cave here and then the wood. It does move a little bit, but I'm not, I'm not worried about it. So there's Ember, new enclosure. So we'll see how Ember likes crawling on it. We'll see. Does Ember crawl on it? No. Ember just wants to be on her log, which is fine. <laughs> So, there you have a YouTube. There's Ember's new enclosure with the cork board. Uh, if you liked the video, hit the thumbs up button. If you want to see more videos about Ember, our bearded dragon, and um, <laughs> she likes to lick. Anyways, if you want to see more videos about Ember, the bearded dragon, and my two aquariums, I do have a saltwater aquarium and a vibarium. Hit that subscribe button, see more videos, and if you have any questions or comments or concerns, please comment in the video or email me at uh, zocomoranch at gmail.com. So I just wanted to give you a quick update before we end the video that Ember loves the cork board on the background. Ember is constantly climbing all over the cork board. As you can see, he's on it right now. Pretty sure Ember is a he. And just, just do some mental math real quick. This is a three foot by 18 inch container which means this is four and a half square feet additional square feet that Ember gets to climb on and interact with so for those of you with reptiles especially active reptiles like bearded dragons I highly encourage you to put something on your background or even on your sides that you don't typically look in that you can just enable your reptile to give more interaction with give them more room to move around especially reptiles that tend to climb a lot so ember climbs all the time and he loves this so cork board on the back good idea 